Hello everybody and welcome back to Sky Bees. And in this episode, we make ourselves our jetpack to be able to go to the nether and get ourselves a blaze spawner. So I hope you enjoy. Okay, so today, I think I said last episode, or maybe an episode before, I, we were going to do Botania, but I actually think that we should actually go to the nether today. So what I want to do is, of course, make ourselves a nether portal, set up like, I don't know, there or something, or I don't know, over here, um, and then go to the nether and see if we can get a fortress. If there's a fortress really close, that'd be great, but if not, we might have to travel a bit. Now, I said I didn't really want to travel across the void because of how dangerous it'll be. But I think we should be able to make ourselves a jetpack now today. Hopefully, we do have access to everything. Let's look into the recipes here. It doesn't look too bad. This is just stone with this, which is just more iron. Uh, iron jetpacks. This requires gold. And then gold jetpacks, I think, also required gold ones. But the diamond ones are going to require elite. Which are just plenty of diamonds, which we should have more than enough diamonds to do this. There's none in there. But in here, we've got about two stacks, probably in total. Uh, nearly two stacks, I'd say. Yeah, I need to work on getting mechanism pipes as soon as I can. Now, I know we made ourselves the cable, which is perfectly fine because that also pulls out power. But the only thing I'm noticing is we can't do actual mechanism pipes at the moment because we need ourselves a configurator. Now, the configurator is kind of blocked by blood magic because we do need infused alloy which requires a metallurgical confuser, which requires a steel casing, which is a block of steel and a blood altar. Now, I have prepared this area over here. I said I was going to make an area for astral sorcery, blood magic, and then I was going to do both Dania down in the back middle. But I'm also looking through astral sorcery, and I'm, we might need to do some attunement. So if that's the case, I want to save that area over there. I don't know if that area is big enough. I'm hoping it is. If not, we'll cut the path, for, path there and expand it out this way more. And we'll set up our actual altar right there with our starlight infusion or something here or maybe on the side of it there. And do our like um, celestial, I don't know, constellation collection right here using a telescope. And here's our blood altar layout. We're going to use emerald blocks for the beacons. This will be a tier 5 altar, which I believe is not needed. Because for some reason, if we look up slates, ethereal slates are disabled. Uh, and there's no way to make them. So the, the max tier we can use is blood uh, or demonic slates. And even for that, there's no actual useful recipes in this pack for it. So the only option is just to make rune of augmented capacity to increase the blood inside the altar. So, yeah. So after we complete this episode, we're going to be working on our botania, which I am starting to prepare. So we have moved over our petal apothecary and our pure daisy that we set up making the snow for the bee. And I've got this area here, so starting the next episode, we'll make ourselves two more pure or three more pure daisies. And I've got this here, so I can just use a builder's wand just to pop up these two lev levels, yeah. And it will turn this into living rock and this into living wood. So, first things first, we need to make ourselves the actual jetpack and also the charging station. Now, I don't know if the charging station actually has an internal buffer. So, we might actually make the charging station first, which is going to require low voltage wire connectors. And a copper coil. So, can I make these? I made one. I am missing two, but I think I have two wire in here. Yes. Okay, so this should be easy enough. Low voltage wire. I make this into a copper coil. And then a charging station. Done. And I think I can just connect this onto the power. Yeah, it does have an internal buffer. And it sucked out all the power that was in the cables into the charging station. So, we might need to use the heat generator to actually, like, help this along, but we'll see what happens when we get to the tier of the jetpack. So, starting off wooden. So, the wooden jetpack is a cell battery. So, I think I need a total of five batteries per jetpack. So, I need two wooden thrusters, which is one battery each. And then I need a battery pack, which is another three. And they all require basic coils. And if we're looking at this thing, this requires six. And... Um, so six in total for the two thrusters and then another five in total for the battery. So six and five is, I think, 11. So I need 11 basic coils in total to be even able to, well, make uh, enough batteries and stuff to actually make our first jetpack. 
And I'm noticing we are out of iron. So... Did I not smelt up any? I could have swore I smelted iron, or did I turn it all into blocks by accident? Or is it all being used to turn into steel at the moment? It might be turned into steel. Did I... No. Hmm. Where did all my iron go? Uh, well, I guess that doesn't matter too much. We can just, like, make another stack here. Let's actually make two stacks, just so we can get a lot of iron going. So, do stacks, and put half a stack in here, half a stack in here, half a stack in there, and half a stack up in here. And you know what? We'll just get another stack. Why not? So, compress, 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 compress. Put this away, because I grabbed five stacks by accident. And we'll just put half a stack in here and half a stack in there. I would assume our bee would have made a lot more since. Actually, there's iron over here. And yeah, I did cut down the amount of drawers because, well, it was just clogging up with so much stuff. As you can see, there's all the armor and tools and stuff. I don't want them. Got the netherite axe, a netherite pickaxe, a netherite helmet, which I did actually upgrade all my armor to netherite because we had the netherite to do it because of our bees, which is nice. So in terms of iron, there's 30-something iron there, which is nice. Um, Oh, string must be full if that's the case. Um, is it really? Wow, okay. Um, I just realized now I'm after moving this one out by accident. So let me break this quickly. Uh, come over here, put this down, fill it with back with iron. Blood seeking culling iron axe of the God Slayer. Cool. Uh, put that back in there and put it back. Okay, so this should be enough iron to continue. So over here, basic coils. Uh, we said we need 11, but we're definitely gonna need a lot more because we need to make stone ones too. So put this string away. And if we come in here now, so wooden jetpack, wooden thrusters, we need a battery, so five batteries. Make ourselves our battery pack. And then our wooden thrusters, which require furnaces, so... I think I need a set of furnaces for each one, so I'm just going to craft all eight. Jetpack, wooden thrusters, one, two. Jetpack, we need our leather strap, which I have no leather? No way. Are you serious? I have no leather? How? I didn't even use leather. The only letter I used was for making the conveyor belts. But even then, they make a stack of eight, and I only use two. There should be way more leather than that. Is this in a drawer? No. Oh, wait, did I put it over in this chest, actually, because I was moving on nature stuff? No. What happened? I should have way more leather than that. Well, then, um, is there another way of making leather? Smelting prepared flesh... Okay, we can do it with zombie flesh. So that's something, at least. Make us 16 leather. Wait, there's a spider over there? Oh, wait, I broke the torch when I put down the stone in the wood. That makes sense. Uh, put this in here for now. Okay, well, I guess that's that. Uh, put this up in here. I just need three leather in total now. Wow, I'm still, even after all the llamas I've killed from the wandering traders, I have no leather. Damn, our chickens are going quite good. That's actually got a lot of eggs for, like, four chickens. Yeah, so we actually could probably do the, the farming now soon as well to set up that area over there, too. Pretty good. You know what? While we're waiting for this to smelt, let's actually make ourselves our nether portal. Oh, wait, never mind. We have all the leather now. So, strap. There we go. We just need the one strap because everything else is made like that. So, here's our first jetpack. Now, I need to make our stone battery. So, two. I need to make more basic coils. So, five batteries. And uh, battery pack. There we go. Actually, knock that off. So, thrusters now. I need the iron. Should have enough iron out of all these now. They've smelted up quite a bit. Perfect. So, stone jetpack. Stone thruster. Basic coils. Craft all them. Stone thrusters. One and... Oh, we're out of redstone now. Okay. Yeah, it's just a constant crafting recipe mess. Right, so what I'm going to do is... I'm going to continue crafting up all of these now. Because crafting is going to be a bit boring... So I'll be back once I have at least a diamond or the emerald or yeah, once I have the diamond and ready to craft the emerald one. So here we All right, there we go. Our final level jetpack. Don't think this can go any higher. Oh, I'd need it to upgrade into a diamond ring, which is needed then to make the angel ring later on for creative flight. Right. Okay. So this jetpack can go in here and is he charging? So if I take him out. Okay. Yeah. So he is charging, which is great. Now, there's no mob still over there. Yeah, there's not. Okay, good. So, we need to build our portal now. So, we got plenty of obsidian in here. I did. Where did I put it? 
Did I take... I know I put something... Okay, why are things just disappearing on me now? Did I... What did I do with my obsidian? I had like four or three stacks of it. Because I know I made these extra doors to store everything, but like... What is going on? I feel like I'm missing stuff now. Huh? I didn't store it anywhere, did I? No, I couldn't have. Okay, something weird is going on. Why am I missing items? Or am I just blind? No, I'm not blind. Okay, did I get rid of it by accident or something? Because this is weird. I should have my obsidian. Anyway, we can put this here. Grab out a bunch of it. That'll do. Roughly a stack. Perfect. And we'll build it over here. Uh, so portal. We'll do it right here. Okay. Actually, I should probably do it in the ground. We'll make the portal three wide in total. Okay, so go up. And we'll include the top corners as well. Why not? We have all the obsidian we want. There we go. Just a square. I'm still so confused with where my obsidian went. I should have it somewhere. Why is it gone? Oh, we got a few mobs over there now. What the? That's a load more mobs than it should be. Two creepers, a, ske a spider, a zombie, and an NPC. Right. So, all that's left now is to make ourselves a flint and steel. There we go. And light the portal and see where we are. So, you know what? I'm actually going to quickly grab a chest and just dump my stuff into it. Just in case it's a really bad spawn. I don't want to necessarily lose everything I have. So, just all of this in here. Just for a second, I'll take the torches and maybe a couple stack of uh, cobblestone. Just to build a bit of a platform in case we're in the middle of nowhere. So, let's see what kind of spawn we get. Well, um, not the exact spawn I was kind of hoping for, but exactly the type of spawn I was hoping for. Um, well then, we got the spawn exactly in the middle of a foo. Okay, lap fire coming through. So we're in the middle of a fortress, which is exactly what I would want. So now oh, we want to actually now find where the blaze spawners are and i just don't want to make sure that we're not going to die every time we come through here with all the blazes oh god don't fire yeah be easier if i had my builders one on me but you can see now we've got regular skeletons wither skeletons magma creams or magma slimes i should say uh should i turn on my render distance i've only have a short one i want to see if we can see the room that has the blaze spawner i'm not sure but what I'm going to do now is going to head back, grab all my tools and my jetpack and see if we can find ourselves a blaze spawner. I'm just realizing now we actually don't have a way of picking it up. Um, I completely forgot about that. We need to make ourselves a cardboard box, which is going to require like a sawmill. Hmm. How are we going to pick up this spawner now? There's no like block like pickup mechanic if I'm just holding it. How much power we got in here? Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Only 100k. Wow, this thing is really slow. <laughs> uh, let's actually take this uh, and put it up over here. Oh, yeah, my tools. Let me grab everything out again. Okay, there we go. So, I need to break this. Grab a cable. Where's my cables? There's my cable. And let's see if we can move this. I'll put the heat generator down here. It should still generate power because the lava will be pumped into it. Pipe will go up like that. And then down here, underneath this honey tank, I can just put down the charger. All right, there we go. And I'll put the honey tank this side. So this should be filling up everything with power, which is grand. Right. So in terms of picking up this spawner, we don't have like a block mover, do we? Right, I am not seeing anything that could possibly move a block. So, in terms of getting sawdust now, the only option is to make ourselves a sawmill. So, let's have a look at our engineer's manual, 
where is that book now is the question. Because I know I have one. There it is. So, Engineer's Manual. So, I'm guessing it would be on the Heavy Machinery? Sawmill. Do we have the ability to make everything? Eight steel scaffolding? Yes. Light engineering blocks? Yes. Iron sheet metal? Yes. Okay, we can make this. If we can make that and set it up right here, we should be able to get our sawdust pretty easily. So let me go quickly grab all the materials we're going to need to make this sawmill, and then we can actually go ahead and build it. Okay, I believe I have everything now. So if we come over here, I think it's a five wide project. So if we unpause this, pause that, and we can see here. So ugh, this moving thing is so annoying. There we go. We should be able to work from there. All right, so we go down on a level. You can see, right, so it is a five by three. And this red block here is where the items will come out. Because we unpause this, actually, no, it's the one to the right of it. So this block right here, this uh, iron sheet metal, is where sawdust will come out. So looking at the picture, we need to put a H, a really wide kind of H. So if it's five wide, let's do the edge right here. The one, and then it's going to be engineering blocks across the back. Light ones, like this. Is it three? Yep, it is. And then one more over, like that. And then it's these two here, this here, and this here. And then the three iron sheet metal. Okay. Uh, actually, no, that's a heavy one in here. This is That's not a light. So it's a heavy one, right? here and go up the level now so a heavy engineering block will go here sheet metal and then at the back another row of three of these guys then redstone one on the left and then the conveyor belts all the way across so redstone here and then conveyor belts will go this direction is that it i think so yep that looks correct okay so all we need now is our engineer's hammer which should be in here and we just right click this block right here. There we go. And I need to give it a saw blade now. There we go. Now I need to give it power. So should I make more cable? I should be able to just make some cable quickly. Make two lots of it. And we should be able to just run this power cable down the back. And then just run it across here. Should be able to give it enough power. Yep, it's running. And all we have to do now is just grab ourselves a stack of logs. And I think I can just throw it on. Log goes on. Comes true, sawdust got kicked out, and it turns into planks. And it makes six planks per log, which is way better than you, like, just doing it regularly. So, let's look up a hopper. So, hopper, make one of those quickly. Make ourselves a quick chest. There we are. And then I'm just going to put the chest right here, which will auto-eject into that. Put the hopper right there. Put the logs in, and it'll just feed them through, like, constantly. Can you see? Yeah. Oh, wait, I should probably put another chest on the end there. Let's actually put a drawer. Drawer should hold a lot more than just a regular chest. Okay, for a second I thought it wasn't auto-ejecting into it. But you can see we're producing a lot of sawdust now, which is exactly the stuff we needed. So, there's our cardboard box. The only thing we were missing to be able to make ourselves... Well, no, not make ourselves, but a way to collect ourselves a blaze spawner. So, we're probably going to make a few because I need to actually get a total of three uh, spawners to be able to fill up this spawner over there. So let's put away all these items now. My inventory is actually starting to get a bit full. So you know what? I'm not even going to worry too much about inventory organization. Because I think as soon as we complete the blood magic, we're going to get straight into refined storage. So put that away. And let's just get this last extract out. So you extract and you extract. How's our jetpack power doing? 600k? It might be enough. It's just as in case of an emergency if we need to jump off or we fall off. And this chest has pretty much nothing in it. Perfect. Oh, that got picked up. Right. I guess it's time to head into the to the nether now and see what we can get. Now, the only thing is we're not going to be able to bring this with us because, of course, this has to go here. Now we need to make sure our keybinds are correct. So if we look up jetpack, uh, keybind for iron jetpack is decreased throttle. Uh, let's go to category. So descend, we don't have to worry about that. So increase is going to be full stop. Decrease is comma. Okay. Toggle hover mode is G. And toggle engine is a V. Yes. I think I'm actually going to bind that to something else. To semicolon. And I'm going to make sure that G is not necessarily bound to anything that can cause issues. So get rid of that. Curious, delete that. 
and settings menu for building gadgets. I think I might set that to Y later on. So if we turn on semicolon, we can fly. How much power does this drain? Quite a lot, fairly quick. But we're going to use it in emergency. So let's turn down the throttle, down to about 60%. And we're going to leave it on, but we're going to try not to jump as much as possible. So I guess it's time to go get ourselves our blaze spawner. All right. So there's going to be blazes everywhere. Let's just fly really far over here. Okay, now we have a bit of a breeding room. So in terms of... Ooh, okay, I'm getting shot from all directions. Oh god, this jetpack is just throwing me everywhere. I don't even know where I'm going. Oh jeez, I've already used half the power and I didn't even mean to. Ow, I'm on fire. Okay, there's a blaze spawner over there. We have to try and make our way over. Oh, nether wart and soul sand. Might as well collect all that. All right, one quick burst. Oh, two spawners right next to each other? Skeleton? Okay, for a second I thought that cardboard box flew into the uh, into the, the fire. I'm not too worried in terms of, like, health because I have a pretty decent amount of health. Let's just disable this spawner and get rid of you. There we go. Let's pick up the spawner now. Eat, and I guess let's head home now because I don't know if there's any more spawners around here. Doesn't look like it. If we want more, we're going to have to probably go to a different fortress. Right, let's use the last bit of our power just to get over here. Yeah, you can see we're pretty much down to no power. But anyway, that's successful. We got ourselves two spawners. Like, that's better than nothing. And the fact we spawned on a fortress, that's just ridiculous. Right, so Jetpack, I'm going to put you away and get to get back up to charging. Because as soon as you're fully charged... We're definitely going to be, like, expanding this island down under. So we can start adding in all the different machinery parts then. And a curious, that st stack gave us 374 logs. Or planks. So, yeah, that's quite a lot. Right. So, uh, cardboard box. Put you away. Put these in here. Whatever. So, what we need to do now is grab all our vector plates. I don't actually think I have that many vector plates left. I have 34. That's definitely not enough. And uh, how do I make more... Any more of this, okay. We are a stack and a half. And I combine that. What are we out of now? Iron nuggets. Okay. Yeah, okay, that's definitely enough now. So I'm gonna go over here, put them all down, and then we'll put down our spawner. Alright, so all the vector plates are down. I have this spot ready so I can put down our blaze spawner. I've cleared out this side of the wall so it'll fall across, get pushed into uh the damage traps and die. And I set up the drawer here to hold blaze rods and I got rid of all that stuff so the only thing is there's no ender chest so we have to like manually bring this all the way over there to start setting up mana generation until we have wireless networking with refined storage but that's okay for now so where's the center okay this whole light dog is the center this is the center right here so put this on top grab our vector plates and because I don't want to get them stuck from behind I might actually even put a vector plate on top, point them in that direction, let these guys go that way, and now I want to get out of here before one spawns, or I'll set everything on fire. And I forgot to grab the stone to fill back in the wall. There we go. And the only other thing about this spawner is, I need to be near it for it to spawn stuff. So I'm going to have to make, make a box here and just AFK while I wait for blazes just to get constantly killed. So until... We'd have a nether star. I'm going to have to AFK. But the nether star is what you need to negate players. So we ignore the nearby players. A nether star is we're going to have to kill a wither. So if we look up like wither proof blocks. I think we said we we're going to use the quantum stable bedrock. Which is just obsidian and redstone blocks. Which is very easily accessible to us. So. And you're all the way up there. But what I'm going to be able to do now in the start of next episode is I'm going to go ahead and make us a bedrock chamber and kill the wither. So that way we can actually go ahead and, well, get an air start, set this up to automate, and then we can start moving blaze rods over there to start generating up a load of mana for our Botania setup. So I'm going to end it there. Hope you all enjoyed. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Hope to see you on the next episode. So without further ado, goodbye.